What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, finally, I'm making another rent. Pretty much, I kind of procrastinated. I saw, like, the JP30 news go by. And I just decided not to make a video on it. And then I just kind of got lazy when the Hammond Collection things released. And I just kind of forgot about making rants for, like, a month or two. So, now this is going to be, like, a mega rant where I just go on about... Most of the news, I might have forgotten a few things. I don't think I'm going to talk about the JP, the JP30 um, toys because I just, maybe it's just me, but I'm not very intrigued by those. Maybe it's because I'm not one of those Kenner fanboys. But anyways, we're starting it off with probably the biggest, you know, the biggest wave. Okay, first... First off, we're doing the Hammond Collection Irritator, okay? This figure, actually, I think it surprised everybody because I don't think anybody really expected this figure to look like this. Like, to have the sculpt be this good, have the paint be this good. It just looks like an irritator, you know? And I saw a review, it just looks good, you know what I'm saying? Um... The tail matches it, and you know, of course, every spinous everything that's like related to a spinosaur kind of looks the same by some point, so it's not exactly gonna be like the most unique. It just looks you know, it's precious, it's precious. I like, let me turn on my fan, it's precious pretty much. That's my point, that's the point I'm trying to make. I like the way it looks. Okay. And now, the next one. Oh, boy. I have a lot to say about this. Okay. The Hammond Collection Metric Hentosaurus. Where do I start with this? Um. Number one, the paint scheme is ugly. Okay. Just get that off the bat. The paint scheme is ugly. It, l it looks displeasing to the eye or at least for me and the head shape i don't know it just doesn't look maybe that was the way they showed it they showed the first image but it doesn't look as advertised now of course like i said before that could just be the how do i say it that could just be the way they posed it in the first um promotional promo promotional image that could just be the way they posed it but it looks different the, okay number one the paint scheme is uh, it looks like one of those hairless cats like when you get halfway down the body it looks like one of those hairless pink cats like um it looks like pink panther to an extent i just don't like the way it looks I'm probably still going to get it because I am the biggest Metric Hentus fanboy on pretty much I'll ever meet because I grew up on the first Fallen Kingdom Metric Hentosaurus. I just kind of fell in love with the dinosaur. And yeah, I think it looks decent from some angles, but then another angle is just like, ugh, like, you know, it and the paint scheme is so weird to me what it, it looks like they tried to make it natural but it didn't work did it they should have given it the paint scheme from jurassic world evolution to like yellow and stripes they should have given it that because that's what i was anticipating i'm probably gonna get two so i can make how do i say it so i can make a you know custom and i can paint it also the top of the head the way it just starts curving looks wrong to me. I don't know how. I don't know what's wrong with it. That's my problem. I don't like the way it looks, but I can't pinpoint why. And this figure just bothers me to no end. Because I had high expectations for this. And when you have this very... And they nailed the concavenator. I... Hold on, let me go get my concave nigga. They nailed a dinosaur. 
that was CGI appeared in the background and was blurred out. They nailed the way this looks. Like, you barely know what a concavenator is, but you could just tell that this looks like one, you know? And with the metric and the source, you had a whole... Now, I'm not sure if Mattel has access. You know, access to them, whatchamacallit. To 3D model some games, but if they do... You dropped it on this one, because... If you do have the 3D models, and you didn't... And you didn't... Like, if you base this off the 3D models, I think you suck. Like, maybe that's just me. And I, th and I think the Nature Boy pointed it out to me. Like, a couple of things. Like, the hip was weird. The legs are weird. I don't look into things that much. I just, you know, I'm I'm a basic person. I don't look into things. I don't research it like he does. But he pointed out a few good things. Even in box, it doesn't look... Mm, yeah, in box... It's not pretty, I can tell. I'm just looking at it right now. That's not. I think I'm sticking to my old metric at the stores. Holy dang, that's 77 bucks. But anyways. Now, second, if I can find the figure. Okay. The Hammond Collection, Dennis Nedry. Okay. Um, Something about this figure. I like the Barbasol cam. I like... It just the amount of detail you can put onto a shaving cream can that's made for a three inch action figure is just crazy to me. Um, and the goo on his face, see, I haven't, I don't have this figure, I don't think anybody does. Actually, the four, the four, um, the four figures that they released like two days ago, like on Friday, I think, sold out within an hour. Like, I was at school, right? I was I was in dismissal. And I saw that Collect Jurassic posted the links, right? I check it says currently unavailable. The fact that y'all got all of the... And I think it was the Dennis Nedry that went out first because everybody's saying that they bought it for the stick. That's probably a meme, but if y'all did, y'all suck. <laughs> y'all suck. Because I wanted that, but this figure... It's all right. Like, I don't really understand how I can review human figures without... How do I say it? Whatchamacallit. Without, you know, having it in hand. Because that's just something that I like. I like physical a lot more than virtual. But that's just me. Um, Yeah, three-inch... Um, The jacket, you know, it's pretty much just screen accurate all the way. And, yeah, you know, pretty much. Because Dennis Nedry isn't exactly... The most appealing, how do I say it? The most appealing looking person, right? I'm trying to find, oh, okay, I got it. Here we go, here we go. The Hammond collection, well, John Hammond, we finally got one. He should have came in the first, the first wave, because, well, you know, you kind of got to live up to the name, but anyway. This figure turned out a lot better than I expected because, well, okay, look, for one, there are so many, um, effects, like, I'm sorry, not effects, like, um, items that come with this figure. They have the watch and it's painted. I think it has, like, two colors on it, which is, you know, more than you can expect from Mattel when they decide not to even paint the paint gloss, but, okay, anyways... Two interchangeable hands. What is that? I see his cane, but I don't know what the other two items are. Maybe that's just me being slow. But I don't know what those are. Now, his head sculpts are actually really good. I didn't... The mad head sculpt just looks like him. You know, the smiling head sculpt just looks like him. It's all it's all good. That's like a 7 out of... 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Just something about it. Maybe it's the promotional images, but I don't know what these two items are. Like, I'm all for items, but they're not very iconic if I can't remember them. Um, now, now we have it. The Stegosaurus. Um, you know, it's actually a lot more screen accurate, but the whole thing is you're just taking the shine off of, um, off of the Legacy Collection one of this, because, like, 
you made a whole set with like Sarah Harding, the giant stegosaurus, and this baby stegosaurus. But the only reason people really bought it was because of the baby, and now you just have this one. So you're pretty much milking this figure when you only need like one. And you already released it like a year ago. So one thing about this figure. The jaw just looks weird to me. I don't know. I don't know if that's me. But the jaw just looks odd. It looks off. Um yeah, I think I think it's a jaw, right? Because like if you I'm looking at closed mouth images right now. It looks like he's smiling and I don't I don't know how to feel about that, but there's actually a lot of articulation. I think this is I think it's gonna come with the baby T Rex, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, there's a lot of articulation they put into this. I don't know what I don't know what the size is gonna be. Cause they didn't square it up with anything, but there's a lot of articulation here. I mean with the tail articulation somehow, when it's all stubby. I think it's gonna be the same size as a Velociraptor, but I'm still not too sure. Um, okay, now if I can find it. Is it here? No, I have to search it up. Okay, hold up. Um, okay. And now the Hammond Collection, um, Junior, or more commonly known as the Baby T-Rex. Honestly, I'm not too sure how to feel about this. I heard a lot of people going around saying this is a lot better than the Amber Collection one, and it probably is. I was never really that interested in The Lost World. I just can't get on board with the movie. It's like the first... It's like King Kong 2005. It takes them so long to get there, or at least for me. It takes a while for the movie to get going. Maybe that's just my problem. Um, This Junior looks great. I'm not even going to lie. It has the accessories, and they didn't add anything more than they should, right? They added the strap, okay? And then they added the bandage on the foot. That's really all you need, because it's a junior action figure, right? You don't, you don't need much here, and it's very proportionate. Actually, Junior's like four feet, four feet tall and like eight feet long. So Junior could easily score up to a Velociraptor, actually. That's something I learned a while ago. He, of course, he'd be a little bit smaller, but Junior could square up to a Velociraptor, which is crazy to me. But and there's not much to really say about this action figure. I mean, it's good. It's pretty. It's nice. The paint scheme is, of course, because, well, I think there's a certain point where when you can come up with action figures, like, you know, the Metricanthosaurus, you don't exactly have... You have options. That's why I'm so hard on them. This is a basic color scheme, but that's really all that appeared in the movie, so I can't really get mad. I mean, people like screen accuracy a lot more than they like, um, you know, how do I say it? Imagination. <laughs> that's really, that's really the one thing that I'm all about. Um, okay, now to Dino Trackers. I don't know how to feel about it. I have a lot to say about these. Um, okay. Number one, we're starting with this weird bird thing, because I don't know what they look like, okay? This weird bird thing. I don't know what you call it. It looks like a not dinosaur. It just doesn't look like a dinosaur to me. Maybe that's just me being weird, you know, and such. But... I don't know. I don't like the way it, it doesn't look like a dinosaur. That's my problem. It just looks like some tropical bird you found off of, I don't know, like the Amazon rainforest or something. So, I don't know. Like, it's all right. I can understand where you're trying to go, you know, paleo-accurate dinosaurs and stuff. Oh, paleo-accuracy. Whatever. It's a franchise where you made them out of lizards. You can do whatever you want. So, I don't really understand this. Um, no, the Dino Trackers, oh, these are Danger Packs. Okay, anyways, Dino Trackers, I'm going to keep calling them that. The Velociraptor, honestly, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I mean, it's not great, you know, it's not like, it's not the Hammond Collection T-Rex, but, you know, 
I don't really understand how much you expect out of a lo out of a, vel a Velociraptor. That was a mouthful. I don't know how much you expect out of a Velociraptor, but it's all right. And I'm a huge Velociraptor fan. They're my favorite dinosaur is either Metricanthosaurus or Velociraptor, and I'm not choosing between those two. But paint scheme is all right. It 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 turn it's like. It reminds me of cookies and cream. That's really that's really what I'm remembering here. Now we have the Pyroraptor. Boy, do I have a lot of stuff to say about this. Okay, look. This Pyroraptor just doesn't look. It just doesn't look. I don't really understand. I don't like it. Okay, so pretty much the paint scheme is like a light navy blue. Well, I mean, around the body. The head is like... A black or like white around the around the middle right and then on the legs it goes from you know the navy blue to just and it's a really like it's a really hard transition like because they're also different pieces but you can at least try and like make it look decent like I don't really understand what you try to do with that so it just goes from dark I'm sorry no not dark um light navy blue to just you know, mustard yellow for some reason, and they didn't paint the, they didn't paint the toenails, which is obviously expected of Mattel. But at least for this one, man, like come on, at least for this one, this one just looks ugly. It's displeasing to the eye, and I keep saying that, but it's true. There's not much to say about these tiny. Oh, I took off the picture, but there's not much to say about these tiny, these tiny action figures. Now I'm not sure if these two are tiny. But here we have the Amargosaurus. I forgot how I knew that name. But this one actually looks pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if this is still a small-scale action figure. But it's damn good. This is like... I, li I like that one, you know? It's it's nice. It's good-looking. And it looks like... It reminds me of an armadillo for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me. But, yeah, the paint scheme is all right. It, it looks like a... How do I say this? It reminds me of a hybrid from Jurassic World, the game. Like, you get, like, a long neck, um, sauropod, and you mix it with an ankylosaurus. And you make, and it has, like, and it has, like, the ankylosaurus armor with, like, the long neck. It reminds me a lot of that, but anyways. Now I have this fish thingy. I don't know what that is, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to call it fish thingy. This fish thingy actually looks a lot better than you would expect it to, actually. Because, because to be honest, I don't know. But this looks really good, actually. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it Um, for now. Let me see. Oh, yeah, right. In the big finale, the Dino Trackers and Dominus Rex. You would think I'd have good things to say about this, but boy, I do not. Okay, number one. I just don't like the way it's built. Maybe that's just me. But I don't think it ever really stood like this in the movie. Now, I'm. let me pull up a picture of the Indominus Rex. Hold up. Indominus Rex. Let's see how this looks. Um... Because the other one, the other, the first Indominus Rex stood like a, sort of stood like a, whatchamacallit, like the Thrash and Devour T-Rex that released, um, last year. Now, I can't really pull up pictures from the movie. Hold up. Jurassic World. I can't. Okay, here are pictures from the movie. Yeah, it doesn't really stand, you know, like, because this, this one, you know, this Indominus Rex looks like it has, like, proper posture, and I don't, and I don't really understand that. The action figure is all right to me, but that doesn't simulate camouflage at all. All you did was change the LED lights and, yeah, remove the swallowing feature, and that's it, right? It's like a cheaper, no, it's like a watered down version of the first one, right? Um, I don't like the paint scheme. It's definitely the paint scheme is definitely not accurate. I don't like the way the paint scheme looks, but I'm not going to argue with somebody over that. 
it's an all right looking paint scheme. I just think that if you're gonna commit to a paint scheme, you need to commit to the tail. Cause like if 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 it's not gonna be screen accurate, then at least go all out. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, the head it they gave it the build of a Velociraptor. Of course, it was part Velociraptor, but that's like intelligence and speed and stealth and stuff. That's not you know. It's built. It doesn't stand like a Velociraptor. It moves and thinks like a Velociraptor, but it's not, you know. I mean, the head is all right. You know, I don't really understand how you could really change the former head like that. So this one is, is pretty much the same. But I think that's the end of our news for today. So I am going to be signing off and I'm going to keep complaining about Mattel because that's me. Um, yeah, so goodbye, have a good Sunday, and yeah, goodbye.